In this short little video, I will be demonstrating how to create a virtual office item inside of Course Home. First thing you need to do is go ahead and log into your course and then go from course to author mode. Once you're in author mode and the course home, you're going to go to course items and you're going to click add items. From the add items menu, under the name, go ahead and put virtual office and then select the item type. In this case, we're going to create a traded discussion and this will serve as the virtual office traded discussion for your course. Once you got traded discussion selected, you got your title selected, and you're making sure that you're adding it to course home, you click add items, and this creates a new virtual office. Once you have the virtual office created, what you need to do is go to add topic and click on. Once you get the Add Topic window open, what you have to do is type the first topic that you want to talk about in your trade discussion. Okay, so once you have your topic in there, just click Add Topic. Okay. And as you can see, what this does is it creates the beginning of the discussion thread. Now you're going to see your response in author mode, but your students are going to see their response here. If I switch back to course mode, your students are going to see this because they're going to have to respond to what you wrote up here. Okay? The other thing is, as you can see up here, you see that you have the text that welcomes your students to your course and I'll show you how to fix that okay let's go back to author mode what you have to do is here where it says introductory text you click edit and by default this is blank but you can pre-type in a document or type it yourself what you want in here and what I'm gonna do just to show you how this is modified I'm gonna upload a picture okay and as you can see I'm opening up a next window and I'm just going to put here an acronym, Computer Concepts and Applications. And I'm going to browse in my computer to the desktop where I got a picture of the book. I'm going to click Insert Image. And then as you can see now, the image for the book is there and the text is there. I'm going to change this right here a little bit. And once you have all that done, let me bold in this over here. You click Save Changes, and when you go to Course Mode, as you can see, the picture for the book is there, the message that I pre-typed is there, and my first threaded discussion is created. So from here on out, the students can continue to respond and ask questions, or you can go back to Author Mode and put in another topic or subject that you want your students to talk about with you. Hopefully this is helpful to you, and if you have any questions, as always, please email me or call me, and I'll be able to help you with your question. Take care, and have a nice day.